Hello everybody and welcome to the 14th episode of Handy Mouse. Now you may remember the library bit that we went during the last episode ago but because you see viewers she has already just saw for what books she liked and she liked dogs so and we're going to read Harry McClary but of course we could take turns doing reading yeah because you see this is the, this is the first time Handy Mouse has read a book or so because that was from a couple of um, things ago from where we started. Just like Chloe Bracken, just like I did to Chloe Bracken. Alright, let's get Handy Mouse to come up here now. Hey, Handy Mouse, come over here, please. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, hello, Handy Mouse. Oh, hello, George. Uh, guess what we're going to do today? Uh, are we going, are we going somewhere different? Uh, not, not on this episode, no. Oh, why not? Oh, uh, we can just see Handy Mouse. Uh, uh, you know you did say you'd like dogs, right? Yeah. Well, I thought we could read Harry McClary since we got the book. Yay! I love Harry McClary. It's because I like dogs. So, uh, so George. Uh, yes, uh, Handy Mouse. Uh, how many stories have they got? Uh, you know, of the books. Uh, I think they do three stories. Woo! Three stories? Woo! What? Does that mean that he can take turns reading? Um, yes, I think so. Woo! So, George. Uh, yes, uh, Honey Mouse. Well, she says I'm not very good at reading yet. Um, would you like to do the reading first? Um, yeah, that's fine, Honey Mouse. Yeah, you need a bit of learning on read, don't you? Yeah, I do, George. Oh, all right then. Uh, tell you what, well, we'll just do it, uh, over that there. All right then. Well, see you later, We'll be just read Harry McClary. See you later. <laughs> right, and I suppose I better get going. Uh, not to go out to some places, but just to go over to the bed. Uh, yeah, sit down, viewers, before I get the book ready. See you later. <laughs> well, then, viewers, we're at the bed of everybody, and this is a very nice place for where we can do stories. Just me and Handy Mouse, uh, with no hair bed, uh, if there's any problems with um, cats. So, let's get Handy Mouse to come up here now. Handy Mouse, come over here, please. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> well, then, uh, Mousy, uh, shall I show you the book now? Oh, all right then. Well, here's a book then. All right then, Honey Mouse. Now, see that book here? Yeah? Well, this one is called Harry McClary, a bumper collection. Oh, what is this? Got three rollicky, rollicky tails. Whoa! I'm so excited. I could jump on George's head. Oh no, oh no, this again. This is the third time you've done that. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, I'll say, I'm still stupid in my head now. Oh, no, this is all bad. You did for the last two set episodes now. Oh, Harry Mouse, get off. Oh, sorry, George, oh, but I had to do that. It's because I was excited about reading. I'm going to do Tim Bob, but I'm not saying cheese this time. But I'm also going to say Harry McClary. Here we go. Harry McClary! I'm off for your face. Hello, hello. This is so hello. I'm not gonna let you read a book. Look at that book! Look! Ow! Oi! You are a dirty rat, you are! Oh, that was downright disgusting! Ah! Happy Bus keeps doing that! Since the first episode of Love Ow! Belly rats. Ah, oh, yeah, don't worry about that, Fuse. Alright, uh, yeah, sorry, right, Honey Mouse, you can get up now. I'm not gonna hurt you anymore. Oh, alright, George, I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, sorry now, George. I was just a bit excited about reading all of this. Uh, I know you're excited about Honey Mouse, but we need to calm down, don't we? Yeah, I suppose so. So, what's a bad story to begin with? Uh, you know, because it's your turn to read first, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is my turn. Alright, let's have a look at the book together. Yeah, that's fine, George. Oh. Now, what's, what's this one called? Uh, this one, uh, Mousy, it's called Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy. Woo! Harry McClary? What? From Donaldson's Dairy? Oh, I don't know if I've heard of it. Uh, can you show me some dogs? Uh, yeah, sure. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, so that's Harry McClary. Uh, and who's that? Uh, that'll be Bottomley Pots, covered in spots. Ah! Ah, this one's called Hercules Morse, as big as a horse. Oh, I see. And what's this one? Ah, this one's called Muffin McLary, 
like a bundle of hay. Ah, uh, this one's called Bitsa Malone. All skinny and bony. Mm, it's a pity you're not skinny, are you? No, I'm not. Ah, uh, don't worry about that. And finally, however, Schnitzel von Crump with a very low tongue. <laughs> Bit like on their hair there. Oi! How dare you? Oi! All right, then. I I'll read it first. I'll have a go at reading first. All right, then. Yeah, here we go. Now, uh, tell you what. Uh, I I'll read it. All right. Uh, you can have a look at the pictures if you like. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, all right. Yeah, excuse me a minute, yes. All right, you can have a look at the pictures, guys. Right? Yeah, all right. Oh. Out of a gate and off for a walk went Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dale. Oh, so it's, he lives at number 60. Oh, and there's Harry McClary. Is it? Yeah, it is, honey mouse. Sure is. Oh. And Hercules Morse, as big as a horse, with Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dale. Oh. Bottomly pots covered in spots, Hercules Morse as big as a horse, and Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dead. Muffin McClay, like a bundle of hay, bottomly pots covered in spots, Hercules Morse as big as a horse, and Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dead. Bits of Maloney, all skinny and bony, Muffin McClay, like a bundle of hay, uh, bottomly pots covered in spots, Hercules Morse as big as a horse. <coughs> And Harry McClary from Donaldson's death. <sniffs> Schnitzel von Crump with a very low tongue. Bits of Malone, all skinny and bone. Muffin McLean, like a bundle of hay. Bottomly pots covered in spots. Ugly s'mores as big as a horse. And Harry McClary from Donaldson's death. With tails in the air, they trotted on down past the shops and the park to the far end of town. They sniffed at the smells and they snooped at each door when suddenly... Out of the shadows, they saw. Uh, can you guess who? Uh, I hope it's not cats. Uh, I think you may be a bit right. I mean, look, look, Scarface Claw, the toughest Tom in town. <gasps> what? Is that a cat? Ah! Oh no! I'm gonna run out of panic. Ah! Animals, uh, Mouse, calm down. It's only a story. But I don't care. Oh, it's too difficult to calm down. Oh no, Mousy, don't put your eye Oh! 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 What's that then? How is that? How is that? Oh, my God. Before I get ill again. Hey. All right, George. I'll help you get animals out of your mouth then. Keep still then, George. Oh, thank you, Laura. Don't worry, ask why we're now. Uh, why she's so frightened about? Uh, because you see, now, it's because of Scarface Claw. Oof, this is the scariest cat for a mouse. Hey, have a look. Oh, all right, then. Oh. Oh, dear. Yeah, that was a bit of a scary moment for, well, not having any muscles, isn't it? Mm, yeah, I'm afraid it's it rained. It is, now, Bear. Afraid so. Uh, anyway, seeing as I'm not reading, um, shall we finish this book together? Oh, yeah, please. Well, I don't think Mousy would see, see that again. Mm, I suppose so. Yeah, all right then. See, you haven't read. I haven't read your book for a while. Well, not since your own show. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's finish the book together. Okay. Tough Face, Scar Face, Claw. The toughest Tom in town. Oh, and uh, this is an easy book, by the way. Oh, yeah. Why is it called an easy book? Oh, did you see? Because it's for beginners. Oh, right. All right. <laughs> said Scarface Claw. Off with a yowl, a wail, and a howl, and a scatter of paws, and a clatter of claws, went Schitt's and Schnitzel von Crumb with a very low tum, <laughs> bits of Maloney, all skinny and bony, muffin went lay, like a bundle of hay, possibly pot, covered in spots, 
Bucky brought Bucky these balls as big as a horse, and Harry McClary from Donaldson's Fair straight, straight back home to bed. See, that's all there is on this one. Oh, oh, I want to see we got Harry McClary's bow. Hmm. Uh, so, George, uh, is it Hardy Mouse's turn to read? Uh, yeah, I think it is Mousy's turn. Oh. What, so can I watch her read? Yeah, that's fine, because I know you're a good reader now, but you don't need reading good lessons. All right, look. Ah. All right. Now, I'll go get Honey Mouse. Yeah, sorry, Honey Mouse. You can come back now. It's over now. Oh, bye, George. I'm coming. Well, I'm sure she'll be with you in a minute. Oh, is it my turn to read now? I wonder. Hello, Bobo. Oh, hello, Marty. Oh, uh, I just heard from what George Master has told me. Yeah, because I hear that you don't like Scarface Claw. <coughs> That's right, Dover. It's because I don't like cats. Ooh, I'm a bit scared. Can I have a hug? Oh, uh, yeah, sure thing. Uh, all right, then. I'll leave you to it, then. So, uh, yeah, sit a bit first. <laughs> all right, Mousy. Yeah, see this, you're scared of cats. All right. No, you really are a bit scared, aren't you? You're a scaredy mouse, aren't you? I'll, I'll, I'll give you a hug. Oh, yeah. Don't be scared. Oh, that's why I'm here now. You're all right. Mm. All right, so can I watch you read? Mm. Yeah, sure. Then. All right, then. I'm going to sit back down, just like I did last time. Ah! Excuse me, Rick, yes. I'm a bit old, you know, because I can't. I might not be able to sit still anymore. Well, don't know why, yes. Ah. <sighs> all right, now, no, Ebba. And you, Mousy. Right, would you like to have a turn reading? the page? Uh, yeah, sure thing. All right, then. All right, I'll tell you what, then. Uh, you know, you know how I can sit here right now, uh, and then you can, at least we can get a seat. Okay. Now, the next one uh, is called Harry McClary's Bun. Ooh, I'm gonna like this one. Huh, better than the first one. Curse you! Right. Oh, should I turn the page? No, because I've never done that before. Yeah, that's fine. See, you've got good pause anyway. All right. Start with the top first, Nancy. Okay. And then you can just carry on. Alright. Uh, I'll just check the pages for you. Yeah, thank you, George. Yep, I think we're good now. Yeah, you can start. Alright then. Alright, and I'll leave you to it then. Uh, yeah, sit a bit first. <laughs> Alright then. Let's have a look and read now. Down in the town, by the butcher shop door, sat the Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy. See if I can turn it up Ugh! <coughs> out of a stone, oh, sorry, out of a door came Samuel Stone, who gave the curry for curry his tastiest bow. Ooh, exciting! Then, off up the street, on scurry feet, on his way to the dairy, when Harry McClary. And chasing him home with their eyes on the bow with hungry s'mores, uh, bottomly pots, muddy McLean, bits of Maloney, and shaking <coughs> bowl crap with a very firm tongue. Ooh. Hungrily sniffing and licking their chops, they followed him up past the school and the shelf. They came to the side selling some of them sauce. They all wept. Except Hercules Moore. Gee! <laughs> so Hercules Moore's is stuck! Hey, George, come on the bed! Oh, alright, Mousy, uh, I'm coming. Uh, what's wrong, Mousy? Is there a cat? Uh, no, George, I think, um, I think Hercules Moore's got stuck. Look! Oh, yeah! I see! Well, that was a bit funny. Yeah, thank you for showing me that. Uh, you're welcome. All right, carry on reading. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry if I had to come back here again. Uh, let me know for when a mousey gets scared. See you later. <laughs> All right, I'm going to carry on reading. I'll just turn the page on, sir. Uh, don't worry, mousey. I'll do it for you. Thank you. Ah. Uh, what's this? 
they came to a hedge not water the way. Under they went. It's so muffin look like. Oh, it looks like muffin look like it's stuck in the head. It's stuck. This dog is a sun bun. It's stuck. Uh, uh. Who's the other dog? Uh, that'll be Hercules Moss. Seeing as I've heard from what you just did, Mousy, your, your reading skills are excellent. Ooh. Oh, thank you, George. Oh, you're a pretty blush. Oh, oh well, I'm glad that Mousy enjoyed reading that. Hey, hey there, uh, can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, yeah, sure, mate, I'm going. <laughs> hey, guess what? Guess what? Handy Mouse has just done. Uh, what's that then, George? Uh, this is a... Oh. Uh, Honey Mouse has read the whole book for the first time ever. Ooh! Well, then, Honey Mouse, I'm very proud of you, my little friend. Well, she deserves a kiss. Uh, actually, I'm not going to. Oh, come on, no, but she is your friend. Just kiss her. Uh, no, I don't want to kiss her. Well, I don't want to kiss that. Oh, come on, please. Please, no, but no. Please, no, please, no, please, no, please, 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 Oh, that's it, Nova. Seeing as you're not gonna get, I'll f make you do it myself. <gasps> oh no, to a bit of Oh, oh. All right. I suppose I'm gonna have to. This is the last time I'm doing this. Oh no. Hmm. Oh well. I'm glad you enjoyed my copy. Oh, oh crap. No, I could kill to me, bro. Oh, that's it. Seeing as you pushed me into party mouse, I'm gonna have to deal with you. Uh, in a minute. Oh, all right then. Uh, did you enjoy that though? Oh yeah, George. It was amazing. All right then. Uh, should we get Clay back to have a look at this one? I mean, uh, I think Mousy's just done enough reading now. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and I've done enough reading as well. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, see you later, Fields. For what I deal with George. Uh, see you later. Yeah. All right, Andy Mouse, get out now. Um. Well, did you enjoy that, Mousy? Yeah, George. It was amazing. Thank you, George. Oh, you're welcome, Honey Mouse. Well, you deserve a kiss. Uh, I can only give you a little bit. In fact, tell you what, I'll do it on the floor for you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <coughs> Alright, you go and do whatever you want to do now. Alright, then. Uh, just until we go to Sherboard for next. Woo! Sherboard? Woo! I've never been there before. Will it be good? Yeah, of course it will be good. Right, you just have a little light up. Alright, then. I'll see you next time, Fierce. I'm going to be doing the Sherboard. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't mention, Fierce, uh, this Baby, my pen on a bit of a soap now. Yeah, just before my very last one. Well, see you next time, Fierce. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Well then, Fierce, I'm glad Handy Mouse enjoyed reading that story now. And seeing as that we're to the last one anyway, I think we'll just get Clay Raccoon to have a look at this one. Yeah, because I think she likes dogs as much as Handy Mouse does. Yeah, alright. And we'll be right back after the break. So don't go away, Fierce. See you later. Well, we're back for a break, everybody. Well, I'm sorry if we have to have a break, because you see, Honey Mouse has just done enough of reading for her. Yeah, I think that was enough for her. I think so, yeah. I'd say we'll go ahead there, because he joined in as well. But, see, let's start on to the last one. Let's get Chloe back to come up here and finish this one for Mouse. Hey, Chloe, come over here, please. Oh, okay, George, I'm coming. Hello, Mr. 
nothing to the buddy. Oh, George. Uh, yes, Chloe. Uh, why am I this paragraph? Oh, could you see her, Chloe? Uh, I think, uh, you know you don't like masses, right? Yeah. Well, I think her mouse has just finished the story. Oh, what was the story called? Uh, I think that one is called Harry McClone. But seems that one, the last one, and it's called Harry McClone Sit. Oh, I see. All right, then, Doctor. Uh, can we get Kepa to have a look at this one? Uh, not this time, Clay. Yeah, as soon as it's, uh, it's the last one anyway. Just you and me. Miss. All right, then. So, uh, am I to read on this one? Is it a very easy book for me? Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, then. Uh, and I'll leave you to it, then. Okay. Uh, and I'll help you turn the page, yeah, because I know you're not good with pause. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, so it's easy called Harry McClary. Is it? Whoa, did I my dog? Oh, perhaps. All right, then, Clay. There you go. Thank you, George. Right, here we go. So, something was happening down in an ark, such a yap could be heard, such like a blusterous bark, a visit of dogs lined up on the grass of a kennel club's special obedience class. Oh, obedience class? Oh, but I've never heard of it. What, what's obedience class? Well, obedience class is a, like a special class that you have to obey, get those dogs to obey you. Uh, do you remember doing that on the dog show, on the dog special of Georgia Hair Bear? Yeah. Well, I think that Harry McClure and his friends are doing the same. Look. Right. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. So, can I carry reading? Yeah, that's fine. But I'll turn the next page for you. Thank you, George. All right, let's have a look. Harry McClure felt greasily bad, jittery, skittery, mischievous, mad. The leader said, sit. But he wouldn't obey. The other dog said, but he scampered away. Oh, that was a bit naughty. Wasn't it, George? Yeah, it was, Chloe. Sure. Oh, let's see. Juggling here, galloping there, rollicking, frolicking, everywhere. Down! Called the leader. So take all the knots back off in a hurry, spare bodily pots. Who's bodily pots? A bodily pot is covered in spots. Oh, I see. Galloping here, galloping there, rollicking and rollicking everywhere. Deal! cried the leader, but skipping away to follow the others went Muffin the Clay. Galloping here, galloping there, rollicking and rollicking everywhere. And why do we keep saying those words on those pages? Oh, because it's just to prove because it, all these dogs are a little different. Oh, all right then. Can I carry on? Yeah, that's fine. I'll turn the page for you then. You really can't help it, can you? No, I can't. All right, let's have a look. Stay! roared the leader. Pusky and paws, but out of his clutches slipped Hoodley's morse. Galloping here, galloping there, rollicking, rollicking everywhere. Come! howled the leader, but don't give a fun with bits of baloney and schnitzel for crow. Galloping here, galloping there, rollicking, rollicking everywhere. Wait! Now the leader, but can't bring free with one custard and noodle and barnacle bee. Oh, barnacle bee, barnacle bee. Oh, well, I've never heard of it. Uh, George, what's barnacle bee? Uh, I'm not sure what the barnacle bee is. Um, I think that uh, actually, if I think about this, barnacle bee reminds me of a sudden superhero in SpongeBob SquarePants, and I think it might be. Barnacle Boy. Oh, Barnacle Boy, Barnacle Boy. Oh, I don't know heard of it. What, is it is a strange one? Uh, yes, Clay, I believe it is a bit of a strange one. Right, you just carry on reading. <laughs> All right, George, if you say so. Right, here we go. Galloping here, galloping there, rollicking, rollicking everywhere. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah. They raced around the fountain. They chased through the trees, they marched through the gardens, they discovered the leaves, they heard what Cos said, and the bandstand beyond. Oh, oh, I remember the bandstand. That was in Sherborne. Woohoo! I'm going to carry on reading now. They rushed through a hedge and went... Splat! Went in the pond! Oh, yeah, looks like they were wet. <laughs> um, is that all right, then, George? Uh, yes, Clay, I believe it is the end now. Well, did you enjoy the last story? Yeah, I did, George. It was amazing. Yeah, because of 
reminds me of Kimba and all the dog show. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, though. Yeah, I think so. All right, would you like to take a bite of viewers now? All right, then. <laughs> well, bye-bye, then, viewers. Well, I'm not going to be here very much, yeah, because I'm going to need to repair my badge. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. And as of me, however, time for me to say goodbye as well. So, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to leave you with yet, but we'll just find out as we go along. So I'll see you next time, viewers, and until then, bye-bye, everybody. See you bye, bye, bye. bye. just because no Heather hadn't dealt with me yet. After what happened? Hmm, yeah, because I think, um, I think it was no Heather to do the, um, duty for what, after what happened for when the cats are out. Hmm, all right, uh, hey there, are you gonna deal, gonna deal with me? Uh, yeah, George, I believe I am, I'm coming. Right then, George, huh, see that you just pushed me into Mousy just because you told me I don't want to give Mousy back the kiss, I'm gonna have to beat you up for that. Oh, uh, this is the first time I'm going to do that. Here. Oh, no. Oh, you can't beat me. Oh, not after crying, you don't. Ah! Oh, no. Call the police. I oh, get off it. Ow! Call on Kloraku. Ah! I'm always my boy. Ow! Call on Crash Bandicoot. Ow! Ow! Get off! What? At least it's not Clay this time. Oh, it was no hair this time. Oh, because he dealt with me now. Right, no hair there? Come here now. Oh, what is it, George? How dare you just pet me? Just because I already did something wrong to you. Oh, that's it. I'm going to throw you all over the bed right now. Oh, no, George, please don't you do that. I can't do that to me. Don't you do Ah, oi! Ah, oi! Oi! Ah, oi! Oi! Ah! Right, I'm gonna pull you down. Oi! Oi! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oi! Ouch! Oi! Oi! Oh, oi! Right, I'm gonna pull you down. Oi! 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 Ow! Oi! Ouch! Oh, 
Your feet are stuck to the bed. I'm gonna tickle you off. <laughs> Oi! 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 Stop! Stop! Oi! 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 Ow! Oi! 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 There you are. <laughs> right, I'm gonna throw you up. Ah, oi! It's just come out of my old PJs. Have a look. All right. Ah, what? Mm. Oh, no! Oh, George Buxton! How dare you kill me? Oh, that's it. I'm going to throw myself onto you. Right. Have you got the water squares? Uh, I haven't got it for a foot loaded at the moment. Oh, huh. Well, you need to be, be, be ready, don't you? Yeah, I suppose I do. <sighs> Tell you what, no, but I, I'll put that thing back in you for you. Oh, thank you, George. Uh, yeah, yes, cinema theaters. I'd so be. I'm gonna put that back. Yeah, excuse me, Uh It's all right, uh, but I put the old PJ top back in in you. Oh, thank you, George. Now let's see how I might do. Yeah, I'll just have a look at you. Yeah, just for you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm not very good at looking at myself. Yep, I think it's back in you now. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, that's all right. Uh, I'm still gonna squirt you. Oh, don't worry. I I'll get this water squirt straight. All right. Oh, yeah, cinema theaters. I'll get. It. Yeah. That's the same with me. Right, it's all right, Derby. I got the water squid in. So you can have this one first. Oh, oh George, I'm coming. Right then, George, see if you killed me now, I'm going to squirt. Right, so give me that thing. Right, look at what it is. Oh, I haven't done that for a while. I'm not so good with a herb of specials. Right, here we go. Right then, George, get ready for revenge for killing. <gasps> no, hey, but I didn't kill you. But it's just because you're Ah! 
getting the gist. Oh! Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! You got me wet now! You're a dirty boy! Oh, that's what you get for killing me! Huh! Alright, right. Oh, right. uh, good. Have you got, still got that some bit? Uh, yeah, this left little bit. So, I you hope you don't squirt me. Bye bye! Right, I'm gonna do it again! Woohoo! I said, I'll pay back! Ooh. Right, get ready. Oh no, no Heather. Hey, no Heather. Don't forget. Oh, 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 Now, you're a dirty boy. <laughs> oh, that's what you get for killing me. Huh. All right, right, seeing this, you've squirted me now. Right, I'm going to use you to knock off that webcam to finish this ad block right now. <gasps> oh, no, don't be touching it. Oh, God, be fat to me. Oh, uh, watch out, Mr. Cameron. Uh, you might want to end the show because George Fox is going to throw me on to you now. George. Quit as well, Mr. Cameron. I'm all wet now.